materials, metals and non-metals. Introduction You are familiar with a number of materials like iron, aluminum, copper, etc. Some materials have been given in this table. Let's study the appearance and hardness of materials. Iron is dull in appearance and is very hard. Coal is dull in appearance and is not very hard. Sulphur is dull in appearance and not very hard. Aluminum is shiny in appearance and not very hard. Copper is shiny in appearance and it too is not very hard. Metals can be distinguished from non-metals on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. Recall that luster and hardness are physical properties. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स मैलेबिलिटी हैव यू एवर सीन अ ब्लैक स्मिथ बीटिंग एन आर्टिकल मेड अप ऑफ आयन लाइक अ स्पेड Do you find a change in the shape of these articles on beating? Would you expect a similar change if we tried to beat a log of wood? Hmm. Interesting when you think about it, no? So let us find out by doing an activity. Activity. Take a small iron nail, a coal piece, a piece of thick aluminum wire. and a pencil lead now beat the iron nail with a hammer but do take care that you don't hurt yourself in the process try to hit hard hit hard the aluminum wire also then repeat the same kind of treatment on the coal piece and the pencil lead record your observations in the table So what do we find? Now if the object is an iron nail when hammered it flattens into a sheet while a coal piece when hammered breaks into pieces. An aluminum wire when hammered again flattens into a sheet while the pencil lead when hammered breaks into pieces. You saw that the shape of the iron nail and the aluminum wire changed on beating. If they were beaten harder, they could have changed into sheets. You might be familiar with silver foil used for decorating sweets. Mmm, that burfi. You must also be familiar with the aluminum foil used for wrapping food like in your tiffin. the property of metals by which they can be beaten into thin sheets is called malleability this is the characteristic property of metals as you must have noticed materials like coal and pencil lead do not show this property agar aap apne syllabus ke sare chapters is format mein dekhna chahte hain to hame description mein diye gaye number par call kare Conduction of heat and electricity. Can you hold a hot metal pan which is without a plastic or a wooden handle and not get hurt? Perhaps not. Why? Try to list some other experiences in which a wooden or plastic handle protects you from being hurt while handling hot things. Thus we can say that wood and plastic are bad conductors of heat. 
you must have seen an electrician using his screwdriver. What kind of handle does it have? Yes, it has a plastic handle. Let us find out by this activity. Activity Recall how to make an electric circuit to test whether electricity can pass through an object or not. You might have performed the activity with various objects in class 6th. Now repeat the activity with materials like iron rod, sulphur, coal piece, copper wire. Observe and group these materials into good conductors and poor conductors. You observe that iron rod and copper wire are good conductors while rolled sulphur pieces and coal pieces are poor conductors. If you want to see all the chapters in this format, then call us in the description of the number. For more educational videos, subscribe to our channel Home Revise.